We appreciate you guys coming out on what has been an historic night here at Toyota Center as we celebrate Filipino Heritage Night. Um, this was the first time in NBA history that two players of Filipino descent have played in the same NBA game. Of course, Jalen Green of your Rockets. George Clarkson of the Utah Jazz will be out here uh, shortly. So, Jalen, we'll, we'll get started here. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for coming out. Um, first, a little bit about what I imagine has been a, a whirlwind for you since being drafted, and here you are. You're 19 and playing in the league already. It's got to be an amazing experience. Yeah, it's, it's really amazing. Um, it's been a journey, it's been very exciting, a lot of highs and lows, but I'm here, and you know, I just gotta make the best of I'm gonna keep playing. You've worked incredibly hard to get to this, to this level. What, what kind of work have you put in? What have you done? What has it taken to be an NBA player at the age of 19? Uh, it just takes countless hours, um, days, mornings, nights in the gym, just working. I started playing basketball, like taking it seriously, playing like eighth grade. I, I shot out my eighth grade year, and then my ninth grade year, I really like started taking out. Um, so yeah, this has been a lot of highs and lows. Um, but I kept the main thing, the main thing, and we got to the NBA, and now we're here. Yeah. What's, what's the actual experience been like for you in these first five games? Uh, it's been fun. Uh, I mean, we ain't got the record we want. We haven't been much as we want to, but um, it's, it's, it's an experience. It's a learning experience for me. I'm really here. Um, I'm just trying to make the best of it. All right, let's let's talk a little bit um, about your background, your heritage here. Um, have you visited the Philippines? Yeah, before? I've actually been to the Philippines twice. My Ooh. sophomore year and my junior year. Could tell us what was the experience like for you? The experience was amazing. The food out there is A1. Uh, but yeah, the Philippines show a lot of love and support. Everybody out there, um, I know they love the game of basketball. Um, I think I had like a 51 point game. I broke the record out there. And the fans, I, you know, I, I was given some notes here tonight. So the Rockets have somewhere in the neighborhood of six million Facebook followers. Facebook, is, I guess it's about to change, but you know what I'm talking about, right? The majority, the biggest following of the Rockets Facebook are fans from the Philippines. Whoa. I, I, will, I will admit I was unaware of that until tonight, but obviously the fans in the Philippines are passionate about this league and especially passionate about the Houston Rockets. That's amazing. Like I said, they show a lot of love and support, so just bringing it here to Houston, that's awesome. What, what, what does it feel like to have not only the fans of the Rockets in this city and around the U.S. supporting you in this team, but what, what does it feel like to have an entire country behind you? It's awesome. <laughs> to be able to come out here and play the game I love and support. Um, just have the Filipino country on my backside. Um, I'm always repping. I'm always repping to the end of my career, so. I'm just happy y'all uh, also love the support. I appreciate it. Um, we're gonna, Jordan will be out here uh, shortly, just getting ready. Then Utah has to head out on a flight to Chicago tonight. But playing against a guy like Jordan Clarkson, the NBA's reigning sixth man of the year, uh, how often do you guys talk and share stories? Um, have you have you had enough, much of an opportunity to talk with him about his NBA experience? Um, I actually got a chance to uh, talk to him when I was in LA working out before draft night. He just told me to keep hooping. Um, I know we got tagged in a lot of posts from the Philippines, and um, yeah, he's a great player. Um, he's been in the league for a while, so he got a lot of experience. So this is awesome being able to play the same court as him, represent the Philippines. And I believe Jordan Clarkson is, is about ready to come out. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Jordan Clarkson. Woo!
George, we really appreciate this. Uh, I don't know you. I, I don't know how much of you might be aware of this, but it is very, very rare for a player from the opposing team to come out out of their locker room on the floor at at, at the site of a visitor. So, George, we really appreciate you coming out. Thank you so much. Well, appreciate it. Especially at the odds of the <laughs> I guess it wasn't quite as hard, right? I mean, if you guys would have beaten them tonight, maybe it would be a little more difficult, right? Yeah, sure. uh, so, I, I was asking Jalen, I'll, I'll ask you the same thing. First time in NBA history that two players of Filipino descent have matched up on the floor with one another. Um, have you had a chance to sort of kind of absorb that historic moment? Um, yeah, I think we kind of talked about it a little bit. You know, I've seen them this summer. Um, just kind of sharing, you know, stories and stuff, but uh, you see the turnout we got here in Houston. I think we'll get this turnout a lot of places. Uh, you know, he's going to feel the love and support from the Philippines, um, and it's great. Um, like you said, this is historic. I don't know if it's sat in on me yet, but uh, we're going to be the first, and uh, nobody else could ever do it again. We don't need one. Well, basketball is incredibly popular in the Philippines. Same question to you. What's it feel like to have an entire country behind you? Oh, um, what Jay said, it's lit. <laughs> lit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's amazing. You know, we, we feel the love, we feel the support every time. You know, I know when I step on the floor, I know when he steps on the floor. Uh, we know we represent the country, uh, we represent our people, and um, we going out there doing what we doing. Now, I know you've also been to the Philippines, and you're pretty much a rock star over there, right? Yep. I, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was that experience like for you? Uh, it's great. Like I said, uh, we feel the love everywhere we go. You know, I, I walk out the house, I know I'm representing, and you know, I'm gonna get some love from the Filipinos all the way. Um, you were able to play for the Philippine national team in 2018 during during the Asian Games. How special was that for you? Uh, it was real special. Um, now, next thing we got to work on is uh, getting Jalen in one of those jerseys. <laughs> yeah! Well? Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man. Hey, I, hey, I don't want to say too much right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's early, it's early. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, like, hey, you have choices, the U.S. or the Philippines at least, right? Right. Life's all, life's all about choices. Yeah, like I said, it's early, so you'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> where, where, is, where is your family from? Uh, Papanga. Yeah! And um, what was it like? I mean, you want Jalen just coming into the league. You've been in the league now for a while. Um, what, what is it like to watch somebody else of Filipino descent come up? And, and make the fans who are here and everybody back home so proud of, of what you guys have accomplished and continue to accomplish. Um, I mean, it's great. You know, I've seen him, uh, you know, in high school. Uh, been watched him like his G League stuff, and seen him here on the floor, getting an opportunity to play, and uh, getting an opportunity to develop. And you know, he got everything to keep continuing his legacy of a Filipino in the league. So he's young and he's super talented and. You know, he has everything, you know, to be an all-star, superstar in this league, and you know, I can't wait to uh, see him grow. And, and you talked about him and experience and watching him and what he's meant to, to your career uh, so far. And I think it's, just, it's really cool to be a part of something like this here tonight, the first time it's ever happened. I, I remember your videos back went on. When uh, Yao Ming first came to the Rockets and uh, the games were first shown back in China, how, how big of a deal that was. And, and this is this is very similar to that. And I think it's really cool that the Rockets organization has kind of been a part of some of these firsts. And now for you and Jordan on the same floor at the same time. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Like you said, it's historic. Yeah. So, uh, Jordan, I know you got to run. You guys, you guys have a flight to catch. Um, just a quick thought on, on what your thoughts are on your team and the rest of the season. Obviously, you remain one of the elite teams uh, in the league. You guys have a chance to win the championship this year. What are your thoughts on the Jazz and, and what you guys can accomplish this season? Uh, we just take it in one game at a time. Keep the team to, you know, break every game down, break every situation down. So we get those playoffs and the playoff runs. We, we got everything in our book and uh, we'll be ready. So 
That's all we're doing, and hopefully uh, we win a championship. And that's what we're here to do. And Jalen, obviously you and your team in a very different spot. You guys are building, uh, growing, developing. How excited are you about the future of the Rockets? Uh, I'm super excited. Like you said, we're rebuilding. We're a super young team right now. Um, we got a lot to figure out right now, but uh, we're going to put it together. It's right there. So we're going to take one game at a time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, really appreciate you guys coming out to the game, supporting the Rockets.